Hey guys, Matt Bell here at Electric Violin Shop. This is part two of a little mini series that we've got called, Do I Need a Preamp? Um, part one, we talked about what is a preamp? What does it do? Uh, how does it color your tone? What are, all the different, what are the different aspects of helping you decide whether you need a preamp or not? This one is gonna talk about a couple of the preamps that we carry, and I'm gonna let you listen to these preamps so you can hear the difference between one and another. So here are a couple of preamps that we carry. Um, one is called the Art uh, Tube Amp preamp. It's got a little tube in it, and that's a, that's a thing a lot of people, yeah, I want that tube sound. Uh, just be aware that, that tubes are an analog thing, and the whole purpose of a tube for a guitar player is to, is to distort a little bit. So uh, if you keep that tube from hitting real hard, it is going to warm your sound up a little bit, but if you're hitting that tube pretty hard, uh, it is going to give you a little bit of distortion. So just be aware of that. Um, but the Art 2 preamp, we've got two different products from LR Bags, the Paracoustic DI and the Venue, and then we've got this really fantastic Fishman Aura preamp as well. Uh, the tube Art 2 preamp is $64.99. It's a super, super affordable option for people who are like, really, uh, I can't spend a ton of money on this thing, but I need something to make my violin not sound the way it's sounding. Um, it's a nice little preamp. Uh, again, just be aware if you start hitting that tube pretty hard, it is going to distort. That's what they're designed to do. Um, but they do work. They work good. Uh, you got to power them externally, and um, and it's a it's a good it's a good starter preamp, honestly. Uh, the next one, I own one of these. I own the Paracoustic Di. This can be powered either by a nine volt battery or with phantom power coming in through the XLR. It cannot be powered by a external power supply, and I. I I, that's honestly, I think that's a huge oversight on their part. Um, so if you're hoping to have this on your pedal board and power it with your power supply, unless you're really good with electronics and you can solder something up, uh, this probably isn't going to be ideal. It does have a bunch of EQ in it. It's got an effects loop in it that you can use. Say you want to put this thing first so that you've got all the, uh, the impedance benefits and then send out to your effects and then come back and then use this as your DI to go to the house. Muy bueno. I like this one a lot. Just it's the power situation. As long as you've got phantom power, it's great. If you're hoping to power it with an external power supply, kind of out of luck. Uh, the other LR bags product that we carry is the Venue DI. Uh, this one's the opposite. It powers with a power supply or a battery. It cannot be powered by phantom power because it doesn't. Uh, it does have an XLR output, but you can't power it with phantom power. Um, it has a tuner. And it's got a boost in it, which is really nice. And you can sweep how much that boost boosts. So if you go to take a solo and you look out there and the sound man's playing on his phone, you can just kick that boost and it gives you a little bump. So you can take your solo and then cut it off. Um, and it's, it's a really nice. And I love having the tuner on there. When you kick the tuner on, it mutes your signal. So that's often really handy on a stage too. And then the other one we carry is the Fishman Aura. And this one is a fantastic preamp but it also has a, this Fishman imaging technology in there to where you can go to their website and download a bunch of images. You can even send them to your instrument and they will make an image of your acoustic violin and apply that image to your electric violin if you want. It's a really, really cool technology that we've demonstrated in other places. Uh, today, we're just gonna be talking about the preamp aspect of this uh, device. But I wanna go ahead and play some some sound clips for you. The first one, I'm actually plugging, uh, I'm using a Yamaha YEV, a super common instrument. I'm plugging that into what's considered a high impedance circuit, but it's really only like 20 kilo ohms. So you're gonna hear, it, it's a little buzzy. Um, and it's it's got that thing that you hear when you're like, yeah, that guy needs a preamp. And then it'll flow right into these next couple preamps. It'll just go clip to clip to clip so you can hear them back to back and hear what they sound like.
right, so that's four different preamps that we carry. I think you can sort of hear the difference between those. And if you want to go back and, and listen to each one of those, I've got it uh, chaptered out here in the bottom so where you can, you can see that. Also, if you need a little more technical information on what a preamp is, what it does for you, why you might need one, uh, you can check out part one of this video, and that's linked in the description. Okay, thanks for hanging out.